Hi, and welcome to Lines on Design. Yes, I am here with John Iannazzo. Yes, we are at Liberty, and yes, we are talking about window treatments today. Always. I'll tell you, it's really interesting. I've had a couple of clients recently who are struggling with what to do with their windows. They they come from the north, mm -hmm. all right? And so they're used to this, um, I don't know how, I guess, heavy drapery where these um, lined drapes are used just not only for softness but for warmth. Yes. They come to the low country. And they get smaller windows too. Well, and exactly, yeah. and they're overwhelmed with that's what I, with these big expansive windows and lots of transoms and kind of odd and interesting shapes. And I was really excited because I was coming to see you today to talk with you about blinds and all of the things that you really can do. We've wanted to do a back to basics for a long time, and I think that's what we're trying to do today is kind of a little educate bit. you about what's going on in the world of blinds. Well, this book, this is a brand new book we just got from Hunter Douglas. These, these are the Duet Honeycomb Shades. Okay, Duet which are my all-time favorites. They've been around for a long time, so it's kind of back to basics, but it's all new colors, all new fabrics, a lot of new stuff in the Duet. So it's a back to basics, but with new colors, new patterns. New so, fabrics. So what what does that really look like when you're talking about new fabrics and new colors? I, well, go ahead. The complaint about Duet Honeycomb Shades is people think they look too papery. So if we go all the way to the back to the original fabric. Really? Yeah. We'll take a look. Okay. So this is the classic fabric. It's the original Duet fabric. It's a little papery looking. You don't think so? You know, yeah. I think it looks linen-y. Okay, well, a little bit fabric. To okay, that one. Oh yeah. Okay, all right. I stand corrected. So there's a lot we can do to make them a little bit softer, a little bit nicer. Look at this one. Let me put this in design terms instead of papery. <laughs> That's what people tell me. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I, I can see that these look rich. The mm -hmm. new, the new ones look very rich, and they have a depth to them. They look what I would call like a real life window treatment and window dressing as opposed to some, yeah, they, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Different pleat sizes we can do now too. And they're still the best Wait, insulator. What does that mean, different pleat? Well, hold that one up. That's a three quarter inch pleat. This is an inch and a quarter. You gotta listen to him because he whips all this information in. I do in. go fast sometimes. Yes, yeah, sorry. because you live it. Oh, look size? at the So for yes. different windows, so if you have really large picture windows, you may wanna go with the larger pleat size, more to scale for the window smaller windows for the smaller pleat size. So talk to me about, again, many of these windows in these houses really are, some are horrible, some are sliders, some are transoms, they're just all shapes and sizes. Yes. How, what do you consider in your mind when you go out and you look at a home about how to put all of these together? Well, it's great about the Duet line and the Applause Honeycomb line too. We have a lot of different shapes we can do there, but we can do more specialty shapes in the Duet Honeycomb than any other product. Give me examples of what that means. Uh, arch windows, angle windows, okay. those kind of things. Um, sliding glass doors work very well because we can do them vertically. I know that you're a big fan of the I Duet love, Yeah, line. I love the, ver yes. If we can, if yeah, we look here, at this. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I can only control my phone. It takes a second for Siri to catch up. Don't you love, yes, yeah, exactly. It's there really interesting. Now we're moving. Look at these. And this is the this is exactly what you're talking about here, the mm -hmm. duet. The duet, and we can do some if you can see the skylight on camera. Okay. But we actually have a skylight we can control as well. We may we might have Gustavo do some B-roll for that. But okay. there's a, but let's go ahead and yeah, there's a, there is and I never thought about that. Yeah. Skylights are. And this sort is of the a, time of year we do skylights too. Um, we don't do any skylights November through mm -hmm. March, but then once the sun once the heat starts coming back, it's every week we're out covering doing skylight up. All right, let's talk about this for a minute because this kind of comes full circle. Before we started the show, my granddaughter's here and Susan's here and we were playing with Alexa. And I think that has sort of changed the face of blinds Absolutely. in many ways. Absolutely, yeah, because you can all voice, uh, voice command now. Well, normally I would say, gosh, you know, putting a, um, a blind on a skylight would be kind of a pain because how do I reach it? You used it? to have to get a pole and crank it and it was hard to exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah, they always ended up damaging the fabric with the pole. Mm -hmm. Now it's all motorized. So you can do the remote, you can do the phone, you can tell Alexa. Do you do most of your window treatments now motorized? Yes, the uh, majority of them now are all motorized. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, Alexa's listening to us. I love that. That's for, we, we couldn't have planned that yeah, any better. Good. She's like, I don't get what you're trying to say. I love our stuff. 
But what kind of commands can you do with Alexa? Um, really anything you want. You can have a different setting. So once you set up a scene in the Power View app, so the scene could be all up or all down. For example, Alexa, turn on all up. Thanks for saying that. And then you say she'll put all the shades up. As long as you program the scene and name it, and then just tell Alexa which one to turn on and off. If you want them all half, you can have them go all half. Okay. Um, my favorite one is, Alexa, turn on the neighbors are looking. Turn on the neighbors are looking. I love it. And then it closes all the shades. It closes all of them. Oh, that's, pr that's pretty fun. It really is. I know one of our clients right now was really impressed with you because not only did you set her up and sell her all the shades, but you actually came out, helped her program her elect. Her well, she's very tech savvy, so she likes Alexa. She has all her routines set up, and her and she even she knows more about Alexa than I know at this point. And yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh -huh. So we set everything up, and then she was gonna, you know, work with her Alexa, and she has another uh, home automation system she's controlling it with. But then something wasn't firing quite right, so we had to go back and move some components around, and add a repeater to get the signal, to, you know, uh -huh. and get it all working. And you know, we were very happy to go back and. And work it out because there are so many components now that are not just Hunter Douglas that are Alexa. There are different, you know, uh, integrators and different home automation systems that it can be a little tricky getting it all work together. But it does once you once you fine tune it. Well, one of the things that you've always told me about Hunter Douglas is as far as technology and being on the cutting edge and really producing new innovative products, you're impressed with them hands yes, down. Yes, they're always doing something. They're always on that next step, that next thing. Uh, Apple HomeKit just came online. They wrote the code so the PowerView app can work with Apple HomeKit, and that came on about a month ago. Yeah, okay, yeah. And, yeah. So, and so what does that look like? Um, well, it's similar to Alexa, but only it's Apple as opposed to Amazon. Okay. So it works the same way. Do, when Hunter Douglas designs product, do they ask consumers, do they ask you all about what you're selling, different areas where you're yes, living? Yeah. Talk to me about that, because well, that's they, really interesting. They definitely do their research of what is popular, what the trends are. They try to keep, you know, ahead of all the trends. Ahead they can of the be trends. tricky mm -hmm. in window coverings because they have to produce all this stuff and have it ready to go. So it's not as easy as just mixing up a new color. Okay, you know that makes sense. Um, but yeah, but then they test it out in what markets, what what things are trending, what people are seeing, if they want more light, if they want less light. Uh, another thing in the duet, room darkening is very popular. Okay. Um, so about six months, nine months ago, I guess they uh -huh. came out with uh, duet light lock, actually side channels that trap more light. Um, What's so it called? Duet light lock. Light lock. Light lock. Let me show you a picture. Yeah. What is that? What does that mean? It keeps out more light than the regular duet. You know, the complaint is. The light coming around the sides? This much. There we go. That right. much. Oh, look. This oh, one run, has two side channels, and the way that they're contoured on the inside, they actually stop that light from coming around. So I mean, that's a big deal. Some people will say it's 100% room darkening. Okay. I'll only say 99%. Okay. I mean, if light can find a way, to, you know, any If little, light can find a way yeah, in. Yeah, it does. I'll tell but you. But it's very, very dark. I'm listening to you. I, I honestly have my listening ears on, but one of the things I'm looking at is, a lot of, um, again, very sophisticated colors. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are not clay tile, temple, Indian sil India silk. Um, so I've got sheer. Semi-shears. Okay. Semi-opaque and opaque fabrics. So four different levels. So there's four different levels. Can you use the same color throughout different rooms, yes. but shift whether you want it room darkening for a bedroom? Yes, actually we can do that. So you can see the non-room darkening doesn't have the liner, the minor okay. lines are Oh, okay, okay. So it's the same color throughout. And it can, that, whether that's horizontal or vertical, you can do the same shade, same color, same fabric, mm -hmm. just with the best orientation for the window. Are these duets by far uh, one of the bigger sellers? Or what are you seeing they trending always, they've as They've always far... been popular, they've always okay. been up there. It's one of our our best sellers. What about here in the low country? What else? Are you still seeing a lot of the silhouettes and the pirouettes? Silhouettes, pirouettes are popular, um, as well as banded shades, one of the newer ones that we talked about last yes. time. Yes. has the overlapping band. It's got a real casual, real low country mm -hmm. feel to it. Those have been big too, but they're similar to the silhouettes in, in, in pirouettes as you can control more light privacy. If the duet has a downside, it's, it's either up or down. There is no in-between. Okay. So you either have, you know, the window open, the window covered. You can't control 
the amount of light coming through. Which is funny because I don't even consider that as a downside anyway. In a lot, of, a lot of ways it's not. Right. Most Now what about large expansive windows? How do you make a decision? Do I do one blind? Do I do three blinds? I always like one. If we can do one, I like one. It's a cleaner look. Then you know the pleats, the slats, the louvers, wherever it is, are straight all the way across. Mm -hmm. It's a nice clean look. I don't like the gaps in between blinds when we don't have to do them. Okay. Um, but it, a lot of it depends on the size of the window. And one shade is less expensive than three. Oh. Two. You know, if you have the same size window, you need two shades mm -hmm. in that window. It's more than just doing one. I actually had a client ask me the other day. She called me and said, how do I clean these? Um, dusting is the biggest cleaning issue. Compressed air works real well to dust them. You know, the cans they sell to blow dust out of electronics or your Yes. Keyboard. Works real well. Okay, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. The other day I hit these with, I was going to have to blow the parking lot by the leaf blower. Uh, it's a bit much, but it works. <laughs> My leaf blower would blow the heck out of them. And then, as far as lifetime guarantees, these are pretty durable, aren't they? And yes. safe for kids? Yep. Child safe, cordless, power, no cords at all. Um, Ultra Glide has the, the retractable cord. Okay. Retractable wand, I should say. It's mm -hmm. not cord anymore. So, yeah, a lot of child safety innovations. Every time I come, I think, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really know what we're talking about because we've done this together quite a, for quite a while. Every single time I come, I either see a new fabric, mm -hmm. learn about a new product, learn about an upgrade. It's really fascinating to me. Yeah, it's it really changing. is a changing field. So I appreciate you joining us today. I appreciate all of you joining us here on Lines on Design.